and all the time. <laughs> Praise God. Um, chance. The opening of Ate um, Hazel a while ago was the word chance. And the Lord has given us another chance to gather and worship Him. Amen. To, to bless the Lord at all times. In our Christian life, um, there are words that we tend to use na kagawian natin gamitin. Sige, magpunas muna tayo lahat ng luha. May mga words tayong naka, naka, nakaugali ang gamitin that sometimes it works its way even in the secular or even if we are in the office na gagamit natin. You get me? I remember being in the meeting room and the accounts was giving the reports. Tapos nung natuwa ka, bigla kang, Uy, praise the Lord! Bigla kang nagganon, di ba? Kasi nakasanayan mong sabihin yung salitang, Praise the Lord! Or sometimes, pag nag-uusap kami ng amo ko, nababanggit ko sa kanya, Amen! Yung napapaganong ka, kasi yung lutang ka eh, or yung nasanay ka kasi, nagamitin yung mga salitang yon. And a while ago, We were singing the song, I raise a hallelujah. And we are used to the word hallelujah. ba? Diba? Praise the Lord. Na kahit, siguro, I remember someone who was um, sharing a story. Magbabayad daw sa, siya sa jeep. Tapos ang nabanggit niya, praise the Lord. <laughs> Instead na manong bayad po. Yung parang ganon. Kasi you get to use to such words. Na Christian language ba? That's when we go out, hindi natin namamalayan na babanggit pala natin siya. Because we are used to those. In the early church or in the Hebrew, in the history of the Israelites, that until now, ginagamit natin is their greeting of the word shalom. ba? Diba? It is their um, greetings sa mga Hebrew. It's not just greeting for coming, it's also their saying way of goodbye. Like you come in peace or you go in peace, parang ganon. Shalom, we also have the word Hosanna. ba? Diba? When people are saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Nung dumada ng Panginoon, rescue us. That means rescue us. We have the word Amen. The diba, Lord, so be it. Pag nagkukentuhan kayo ng kapwa mo, Kristiyano, Amen. Papaganong ka. Kasi language eh na nakas- nakasanayan mong sabihin. We also have the word hallelujah, which is the praise the Lord. Right now, the Lord would like to um, remind us of one word. Na sana hindi lang yung I raised a hallelujah on those times that we are in the presence of our enemies. Na hindi lang natin sasabihin hallelujah on those times that we are in adverse, adversaries when there are problems. But also the word, can you flash the title of the preaching? Maranata. But also the word, Maranata. Maranata coming from the word, from the, from an Aramaic words, word, which means either, you can read it either Marana, Maranata, which means you command the Lord to come. Lord, come. Or the word, Maran, Atha, which means our Lord has come. So either way, you can use it, Maranata, Maranata, which means which you are saying, Lord, come. Or Maran, Atha, which means our Lord has come. So in the early church, we go back to the history in the early church, the early Christians, they are being oppressed They are being persecuted because of their faith by the Romans. Diba? The, when, when it was the Romans regime, and sabi ng mga ano, um, they are forced to declare that Caesar is Lord. But because these Christians, they know that there is only one Lord and they are being persecuted because of their faith. Up until now, we see Christians, people in Korea, people in China are being persecuted, being beheaded here in the Middle East because of our faith. And you know what is their greetings at that moment? It's not shalom. It was not shalom that is their greeting. Their greeting is Maranatha. Early Christians being oppressed and persecuted, ang greeting nila sa bawat isa is that 
Maranata. At the Hazel, Maranata. What are you facing right now? We are being persecuted. Maranata. Why? That is their comfort that God is coming. This world is temporal. This one is eternal. And so yung focus nila when they are saying that word, Maranata. Let's say that to your seatmate. Maranata! Babalik ang Panginoon. And so why are we wasting our life here? And you know these words are? Maranata, it's soon. Nabanggit kanina, opening pa lang. The days are evil. Yes, it is. The days are evil. Yet, Maranata. Last week, if you have seen the news, binomba ang Israel. There is a lot of bomb that was sent to them. And yet, here we say, as believers, Maranata. God will come. Kahit sino pang maghari-hari andyan, Maranata. God will come. And He will reign. Nakaka-encourage, no? Are you comforted? I was comforted by this word. Not shalom. Yes, we have the peace of the Lord. The peace that transcends all understanding. But more than shalom is maranata. That confidence. That promise that He will come. Let's go and see ano ba yung um, paano ba natin i-apply ito. Mark 13, can we go to the verse? This is my verse for today. Matthew 13, verse 30 to 36. Let us all read. But about that day or hour, Okay. Wait lang. This is the word of God. Let's read it once more. 32. Be on guard. Anong be on guard? Come on. Be on guard. Be alert. Pag sinabi bang alert, orange yung color or pink para medyo ano, girly. No, it's red because it's red alert. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. No one knows. Not even the, the angels. Not even the sun. It's only the Father. And yet, what are we doing? Be on guard. Be alert. Next verse, please. It says there, it's like a man going away. There's a story. He said, he leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task. And tells the one at the door to keep watch. Alam mo yung tatay mo na biglang umuwi, tapos ang gulo ng bahay. Yung nagkagulatan. Parang sa deacon. <laughs> nagkakagulatan. Ganun yun eh. This is what's happening here. It's a story. We are not on guard. We are not alert. And it says there, it's like this. Na yung master niya umalis. Tapos bigla na lang siyang dumating. And no one was keeping watch. Next verse, please. Number 35. Therefore, keep watch. Because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back. Pinagkatiwala lang sa atin to. Itong buhay na to. Whether in the evening, o mamayang gabi, or at midnight. Tapos may midnight snack tayo, bising na nonood. Or when the rooster crows, or at dawn, if he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. And we will see how many times the word watch is mentioned. Keep watch. Three times. The door 
Tell the one at the door to keep watch. Previous verse sabi doon, you don't know the time, so keep watch. What are you watching? What am I watching, Teresa? Diba? What are we watching? Korea novela? Ay, kadinang ginto? <laughs> what are we watching? Tulfo? Guilty. But what are we watching? No one knows when. You know, on that time, I, I read an article. Ang sinasabi daw ni, ang, di ba, when they are saying the word Maranata, ang kasunod daw, di ba, kunwari, ako, sasabihin ko, Maranata, ang sasabihin daw ng crowd, it could be today. Pag sinabi kong, darating ang Panginoon, it could be today. And so if it could be today or later when you go out there, what have we done? On those talents, sabi pa dun, di ba? On those things that He entrusted to you and to me, what have we done? Because whether we like it or not, we will be giving our reports to the Lord, our own accounts to Him. Watch, watch and watch. Keep watching and keep on praying. The, the believers before, they have understood that they have to keep watch. Diba? Sila na gets nila yun. Kailangan nilang bantayan because the life that they have is temporal. So, that's the same with you and me. Bakit yung kristyano ba noon? Iba sa mga kristyano ngayon? Even more that we are coming to the end of the time. That we have to keep watch and pray. To keep watching and to keep on praying. It is written, Lord, anong gagawin namin? Binubomba ang Israel. All these missiles, hundreds of missiles are being sent. Bakit hindi ba nakasulat yun, anak? Diba sabi niya, look. It says in the book of Luke 21 that but, but when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then recognize that her desolation is near. When you hear earthquakes, hindi po si Kibuloy ang nagpastop noon. <laughs> Keep watch because there are people that will say it was them. But it was written that earthquakes will be coming. You have seen what happened to Japan. Tsunamis will be there. Sa Pilipinas, binabagyo ni Ramon. Ramon, di ba? <laughs> Tapos si Sarah, o. Oh, buti pa yung partner. <laughs> My point is, keep watch. Watch the news. See what's happening. And pray. Come on, let's pray. Kung wala, kayong kung wala kayong maisip na pwede niyong ipag-pray, pray for Israel. Pray for this nation. Pray for the Philippines. Because it says their nations will become, will um, war against nations. This day is coming and we don't know. Then pray that we will be on our guard. If wala kayong pwedeng ipag-pray, then pray that each one of us in the only by grace, every member will be on their guard because no one knows when the day is coming. No one knows. But we are comforted that, Lord, you are coming. That he is coming back. What does it say to our present, past, present, and future? I would like to have that kind of points. Pakay show yung photo na yun, ate. What does it say about our past when we talk about Maranata? Ano ngayon sa past ko? Ang Maranata. If you read it, Maranata, it means Lord, the Lord has come. Diba? What does it say about our past? It just validates all the promises. It just confirms all the prophecies 
From the entire Old Testament was the prophecy na merong ibibigay na anak that a son will be born, that a child will be born and you will call him Emmanuel, that he will dwell among us. And so when we say the word maranat, maranata, which means the Lord has come, meaning ginawa niya yung promise niya. He fulfilled the prophecy. He fulfilled His promise. So it goes the other way. Either you read it Maranatha or Maranatha. It means He is a God who fulfills or He is a God who does what He says. Kung ano yung sinabi niya, ginagawa niya. And what a comfort to know. What a comfort to know that in our past, Diba? The entire Old Testament, they are declaring the coming Messiah. Nung dumating ang Panginoon, He is telling us that there will be a coming Holy Spirit. And now, na nasa atin na ang Holy Spirit, we are being encouraged to declare that, there will, that He will be coming back. Nakita niyo yung pattern doon? The Old Testament, they are saying a child will be born. They were prophesying of he will be coming from the tribe of Judah. They're pre- 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 um, telling that he will be from Nazareth. That, he, that out of Egypt I will call my son. These are the words of the prophets. And then nung dumating ang Panginoon, ang sinasabi naman niya, I will go, but I will send you the Holy Spirit. And in the book of Revelation, at akyat ka lang konti, sabi doon, And the Spirit and the Bride Book of Revelation, Revelation verse uh, chapter 22. It says here, And the Spirit and the Bride, who is the Bride of the Church, they say, Come! Let anyone who hears, they say, Come! Let anyone who is thirsty, Come! Let, let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life. And I solemnly declare to everyone who hears the words of prophecy written in this book, if anyone adds anything to what is written here, God will add to that person the plagues described in this book. And if anyone removes any of the words from this book of prophecy, God will remove that person's share in the tree of life and in the holy city that are described in this book. And that he who is faithful witness to all these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Let the spirit that is in you, and let the bride of church who is you and I, say, Come. Lord, come. When was the last time we said that prayer? I don't remember to be honest. Baka nga hindi ko pinagpray eh. Kasi nakafocus ako sa sarili ko. Lord, ang dami ko pang plano. Wag ka unang dumating. But yet it says here, the spirit and the bride. So ibig sabihin, Lord, hindi ako bride. <laughs> Wag naman. But may we desire to pray, Lord, come in your own way. In your own time. Because it says there, He will come soon and He will come sure. Don't think that it is on your power ang pagdating ng Panginoon. It was never us. Hindi natin control ang pagdating niya. Wala ang nakakaalam eh. And yet let us, He is encouraging us, the Word is encouraging us to pray. Keep, watch, and pray. Lord, come. Maranata. Whatever situation we have, Maranata. We go back to the present. What does it say if in our present time? The Lord is coming. We read, kanina binasa natin yung Maranata. Ngayon basahin natin, Maranata. The Lord is coming. Lord, come. What does it say on our present time? Right now. Ngayon nakaupo tayo. It gives us the alertness. Kaya nga sabi niya, be alert. Be on guard. Keep watch. But what are we doing? Sinong pinabantayan natin? 
'Di ba? Nasaan na kaya si ano? 'Di pa nagme-message. 'Di ba? Sino binabantayan natin? Ah, wala kami na message, te. Sorry. <laughs> Ako na lang i-message mo. <laughs> 'Di ba? Who are we watching? The people around us? No kaya ginagawa nila. Asan na kaya sila? Come on. Di siya umuwi. Who are we watching? What are we watching? This, um, this succeeding times, may mga pinim po ako sa inyo. If you have seen some of the posts ng mga elders nyo and deacons, um, we would be having the uh, ministry identity. We're in. We will be. Um, we will let the Lord. Diba? Pinag, I believe naman na this is, a, uh, this is a tool na dinala sa atin so that we could identify yung giftings natin. Yung iba, pinim ko po sa inyo about this. Others, they have already gone through the uh, ministry identity evaluation. Why are we doing it? Because maranata. I was asked, oh nga, no, ba't natin ginagawa yun? Maranata! God is coming! And He has given us something. What are we doing on those gifts na ibinigay niya? We are so busy improving yung mga low-key areas natin. Bakit hindi mo gamitin yung strength mo and serve God? Kaya nga binigay yan sa'yo. So stop looking, oh my God, ito yung weakness ko. No! Look at your strength and use that. Maximize that for His glory. Kaya nga yan binigay sa'yo eh. Ba't mo hanapin yung wala sa'yo, di ba? And so please, I encourage you to take the test, take the, ev take the evaluation, and see for yourself. And if you identify yourself on that area, magpagamit ka. Stop limiting yourself because you, don't, you have a limitless God. And so when you discover your identity, then use that for the equipping of the body. Use that to accomplish the work of God. Amen? It's not for us to compete. It's not for us to compare. But it is for us to serve. We are empowered to serve God. What does it give us on this present now, knowing Maranatha? It gives us the urgency of mission. It gives us the urgency of sharing the gospel. If you know that, di ba nga sabi ko kanina, ano yung isasagot? Maranatha? It could be today. Then if you will know that it could be today, it could be later, this evening, or tomorrow morning at dawn, you will fix your schedule right there and then, right? You will fix your priorities right now, mismo. You will set your priorities of calling those people you have to call. Of messaging those people you have to message. When we say, Maranata, ngayon na, it could be today, then you will check your priorities. Pero kung babalikan natin, ano bang priorities ko? Uy, ang dami kong bucket list, oh. Dapat ganito, dapat ganyan, ang dami kong hobby, dapat kong makuha to at this age. Wait lang, gusto ko pang magbakasyon dito. Gusto ko pa pumunta dito, gusto ko pa mag-asawa. Sabi nila dito, sino dyan? <laughs> diba? We set the priorities. Pero pag sinabing, Maranata! Uy, tara na! Ano pang ginagawa natin? Let's share the word. People are going to hell. The days are evil. First word kanina ng ate, pang-welcome niya. The days are evil. Which is good. Every morning, pagising mo, the days are evil. Maranata. Tumatawa tayo, pero totoo. Ang sakit. Tawa, tas iyak, ganun. But it's a reminder. It's a reminder. Then, what does it say this present? Kanina past, again, what does it say on this present? It's time to forgive. It's time to let go. Maranata, the Lord is coming now. Aanhin mo pa yung mga pinagkikikimkim mo dyan. Aanhin mo yung mga screenshot mo para isupalpal sa kanya pagdating niya. Diba? 
pinag-preparean mo lahat, pag nag-usap kayo, ito sasabihin ko. Pag sinabi niya to, ito sa, ah, anhin mo yan, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. You are wasting your life with those. Set your priorities. It's time to forgive. Trust me, we can go to these people and present to them everything. I have all the reports. I have all the conversation. I have the recording. Mm, sige, supalpal mo. Pero, at the end, sabi ng Panginoon, Maranata. <laughs> Parata na. <laughs> it's time to forgive. It reminds us to release ourselves from the cares of the world. Come on now. Release yourself from the cares of the world. Because, Maranatha. Set your priorities because, Maranatha. Release yourself from the demand of your flesh. Because, we need to be witness because He is coming. And I repeat, He is coming soon and He is coming sure. Whether you like it or not, it's sure. Sure ba? Pag sure ba? What does it say about our future? Past, present, future. The Lord is coming. Maranata. It gives us the hope in every situation. Oh, that hope. That peace. That confidence that we have. Maranata. I put my trust. Diba may kantang ganun? In Christ alone, my cornerstone. I place... Hindi ko kakantahin. Pero kung ira-request nyo, <laughs> di ba? I place my trust in Christ alone. You don't put your trust to your bank account. Subukan mo lang. I'm telling you, Maranata. <laughs> put your trust on your bank accounts, on your job. Or the people around you, I'm telling you, Maranatha. Put your hope in Christ. Let us keep our eyes on the eternal things. We look upward. Subukan mo tumingin sa baba. Ganda ng kuku ko, ah. Ganda ng shoes nyo, ah. Branded, ah. Nike ate, ah. O, di ba? Nasaan ang focus mo ngayon? Nasa sapatos. Nasa karpet natin. Na kailangan na nating linisin. Look around you. O, ano nakikita mo? Di ba? Nandyan yung cares mo. Ano kayong brand ng suot niya? Ganda naman nung ano, parang bagay sa akin. O, di ba? Huy, Maranata! Look up! And know that He is coming. So we put our faith, our trust, our hope. Not on material things. Praise God that we are enjoying this. Diba? Gift to eh. Blessing niya sa atin to eh. But more than that, as we put that trust on that word Maranatha. Wala yata dyan. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32 to 35. Let me read this to you. Listen. Hebrews 10, 32 to 35. Those days when you first learned about Christ. Balikan nyo. Remember how you remained faithful even though it meant terrible suffering. Sometimes you were exposed to public ridicule and were beaten and sometimes you help others who were suffering the same things. You suffered along with those who were thrown into jail. You identify with them. And when all you owned was taken from you, 
you accepted it with joy. You knew there were better things waiting for you that will last forever. Think back on those days. Na wala kang pakailam sa pera. Think back on those days. These are the, um, the author of Hebrew is saying, alalahanin mo yung oras na nai-save ka ng Panginoon na wala kang pakialam doon because your heart looks toward to that Maranata that He is coming. And so why waste your life on temporal things if we are promised eternal? Di ba? Mag-enjoy ka sa cupcake ang binigay sa'yo sa napakalaking wedding cake. Di ba ang wedding cake talagang dapat mataas? Anong 10th floor ka dyan, Jalo? <laughs> And so the encouragement of the Lord is, listen everyone, to those who are discouraged today, Maranata. To someone who is looking for a job, Maranata. To someone who is worried right now, Maranata. To someone who is filled with anxiety, Maranata. May we not be far from the spirit of Maranatha. May we not forget that word. And may, remem may we remember that daily. To a mother right now, Maranatha, thank you for raising a godly child. The Lord is coming. To a father right now, Maranatha, thank you for being a responsible father. And providing, the Lord is coming. To someone na hindi nakakita yung ginagawa mo sa simbahan, those people who fix the chair, Maranata, you are appreciated. He is coming back. Dun sa tao na maagang pumasok kanina dito para magluto ng kakainin natin, Maranata. Happy birthday. The Lord is coming. To someone who is celebrating their birthday, Maranatha! He is coming back and we have a hope. This thing is temporal. Hindi parata. Kuya, naririnig kita dito. May our cry be Maranatha. May our cry be Maranatha. In every situation, hindi ko alam what you're going through. Whatever it is, ate, kuya, Maranatha. 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 He is coming. So let us not be swayed by the cares of this world. Even the little things that we do matters on the coming back of the Lord. Reality is, you don't see kung paano nakaka-apekto yung mga ginagawa nyo, merong role yan in the big picture hanggang dumating ang Panginoon. If you're giving to the church It's being used for the proclamation of the gospel because we are telling to people, Maranata, we need funds to send Ate Lorena sa bundok. Maranata, kasi parating ang Panginoon. And so when we give our account to God, we say, Lord, pinigay ko because I know that Maranata. I have given it all. Sabi nga ng isang ano, di ba? Soldier or a saying, A common saying, die empty. Die empty. Na lahat ng talent mo, ginamit mo na. Na lahat ng meron ka, ibinigay mo na. Die empty. 
Because Maranata anyway, why keep? Diba? Why keep? If He is coming back at wala ka din namang madadala, pag uuwi ka na dun. Maranata. Let us all pray. Ang pagkain daw natin, mamaya is parata. <laughs> Nagtitipid tayo, kaya parata lang. <laughs> o kaya pata. <laughs> Crispy pata. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the joy. For the comforting words of Maranatha. Thank you for this hope to live our lives knowing that it will end anyway. Thank you for reminding us to invest to what is eternal. That we should not put everything, to treat things lightly because they perish anyway. Teach us, Father, and help us as we go on our daily lives. Steer in our hearts that cry, Maranatha. And thank you even that you have come to prove that what you have started, you finish. Thank you for the comfort that whatever is going through right now is temporal. And there is an eternal home for us. That you have prepared. Sanctify us by your truth, Abba. Set us apart for the calling. May we be found worthy. In those times of tribulations, Lord, you have said, in this world we will have tribulation. But we should take heart that you have, because you have overcome this world. And on top of that, we cry out, Maranatha, you are coming back. Remind us daily, Father, of the urgency of sharing your word. Remind us, Father, of that assignment that you have given us. Because we do not know the time or the hour. But teach us to remind our brothers to be on guard and to be alert. To keep watching and praying. We bless you, Father. And we thank you for the promise na babalikan mo kami. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.